The number one thing that new truckers do or even experienced truckers do is to rely on the load board. This is a big mistake. At first, it might work for you, but in time, it can get very, very difficult. First thing you need to know about the load board is that they're good to fill in the gaps when you need to get out of a certain area after you've delivered a good paying load. It's good if you're new and you want to hit the ground running and start booking loads right away. But keep in mind, some brokers won't let you book with them if you're too new. So just keep calling. Of all the trucking loads that are shipped in the United States, 80 to 90% of these loads are contract loads or dedicated lanes. These are loads that you run a certain lane for, for a broker, for a certain period of time, for a fixed rate that you, is agreed upon with you and the broker. In this video that you see on the screen, you see a family eating at the dinner table. And it looks like they're having a good time. They're eating good. They're getting the best food. Well, those that are at the table can be just like those who have the contract loads. They're at the dinner table and they're getting the best food. So that being said, the contract loads are the best loads with the best rates if you negotiate it. Now I get constant emails from brokers offering dedicated lanes all the time with consistent rates. So it's up to you to contact them and work out a good rate. The good thing is you know what you're doing every week and you know how much you're gonna make. Let's talk about the load boards or also known as a spot market. The two major load boards are DAT and truckstop.com. Now the loads that you see, they represent the rejected loads from the contract department. They are rejected for one reason or the other. Maybe they're unable to cover those loads because maybe the lane is undesirable and the contract carriers don't want them or they simply don't have enough capacity to cover them so they end up on the spot market or load board. So really the spot market or load board are really the crumbs, the rejected loads. The, the video that you see, you see the woman feeding the dog the woman represents the contract side of the brokerage or the shipper and the dog represents the carriers that are on the load board. So they're getting all the leftovers. The problem with relying solely on the load boards to book your loads is that sometimes carriers do not develop good relationships with these brokers. And what happens is you leave yourself stuck to whatever the brokers are posting, constantly dealing with different brokers, haggling with them to get a good rate and then you end up competing with other carriers to get those crumbs that are rejected by the contract department. So you need to stand apart from the rest. So the point is you want to get to that table where 80 to 90 percent of the good loads are because they're the best and the most consistent. Now before we move on to the next section on how we can get to that table, please like and subscribe because it helps me build my channel and I would really appreciate it. So the next section, we're going to talk about building relationships through communication.